Millions of Kenyans have been querying the coronavirus hotline 719, most of them inquiring about symptoms they are currently experiencing, fearing it could be the virus. The center that has been running for barely a week now, depicting a population thirsty for information, especially in the western part of the country. Sam Gitoku visited the COVID-19 call center and filed the following report. Since the coronavirus pandemic reached the country, several Kenyans have been raising questions on what they need to do, as well as the symptoms they need to look out for just to stay safe. Some of them have been relying on the news media for news updates, but there are those that have taken to their phone to call star 719 hash or just call 719, and those calls have been coming to this COVID-19 call center here at Safaricom. Here, there are 60 Kenyans tasked to listen to your questions and concerns. Okay, Sasa Alice. Kukohoa sio kumanisha kwamba una zile viruzi za coronavirus. Hiyo ni baadhi ya dalili ambazo unapata ama ishara zile za kuonyesha unaweza ukawa na ule ugonjwa. Kwa hivyo ile dalili ya kwanza ni kupata joto pia mwilini. Joto ni kidogo kama unasikia kuchafi ya kupiga chafi ama kule kusneez kwa Kiingereza pia hiyo inaweza ikawa baadhi ya dalili za ugonjwa ule wa corona. Now for prevention, what you are supposed to do, Danish, uh, basically you are supposed to wash your hands regularly with soap and running water or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. And these are Safaricom staff, so how do you get them to the point that they know what information they need to be given to the population? What we did is uh, we have worked with the Ministry of Health in terms of training. So we have over 300 staff who have been trained. But what we do is uh, the number of staff who are actually deployed at any one time depends on the number of calls that are coming in. And so a few things stand out from the statistics of the people that have been calling the call center. First of all, majority of them are men, not explained. Also, majority of those that have been calling are from the western part of the country. And they've been asking about three things. First, the symptoms of COVID-19. Secondly, how to protect themselves. And also, how the COVID-19 is transmitted. The biggest concern is symptoms, yes. So patients are coughing. Some patients are coughing. Some patients have fever. And we need to go through the checklist and allay. Is the cause of fever covid right according to the who case definitions that we are using right and if if the the symptoms align and it meets the case definition and then we are able to escalate to the emergency operation center so yesterday we were receiving almost about 200,000 calls uh, coming in through the ivr obviously we speak to some directly others get uh, the feedback uh, directly on the system when they call us and on the other hand is to collect information from the public what are they feeling? Are they experiencing any symptoms? Have they traveled? Do they meet the case definition? And so then therefore, when necessary, we escalate up to the emergency operations center. If we cannot be able to answer according to uh, the information that we have received, uh, what we then do is then do the referrals to the county level, depending on where the customer is calling from. We have our contacts from all the counties uh, across the country. We give them the number and then uh, refer them. They've been escalating calls to the emergency operations center that then activates the rapid response teams and the necessary action is taken. If an ambulance needs to be dispatched, if a patient needs to be referred to the Mbagathi Isolation Center, then that is exactly what is happening. And so, yes, millions of Kenyans continue to receive informational support from the call center. What remains important is the observance of personal responsibility that includes high standards of hygiene, but at the same time keeping the social distance of at least a meter. Sam Gitukus Presen TV at the COVID-19 call center.